Well, welcome back. Corn stalks, pumpkins, Stephen's favorite pumpkin spice. Really? It's all part of the upcoming fall season. Okay. <laughs> and so is cider. Yes. And maybe you like hard cider. Well, you can get some at Toledo's newest Metro Park three weeks from now. Carrie Booker and Fancy Moreland joins us from Cider Fest 419. Good morning, ladies. Thanks morning, for being morning. here today. Good morning. Looks like you brought a little bit to show us yeah. this morning. Look at that beautiful color <laughs> here. Uh, this is a sample of what people will be able to taste when they come out to Cider Fest, right? Right. Yep, exactly. There'll be about 30 different varieties. Oh, wow. Of of, yeah. uh, hard cider, Who knew? mead, wine, and some craft beer too. So, so when I think of cider, how do we get 30 different flavors? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, yeah. please educate me. What are some of these flavors of cider that we Ooh, can experience yeah. here? So there's from Pavlov's, mm -hmm. some peach is one of them. Oh, they put so. some peach in the yeah. cider. Okay. okay. Yeah, is that what this one is here? Is that some? This is one. wild berry oh. apple cider. Okay. That's the sun peach. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peach apple cider. Okay. Pulsky Turtle Brewing. That's so is that another yes. one of the breweries that's yes. going to be. Uh, They're going to have. Well, do you call them breweries? Yeah. Breweries. Well, yeah, and cideries. And, <laughs> there's there's going to be mead Bakers, and wine. Yeah. 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 This one's pineapple, mango, apple, and pear. So See, they're wow. very, they're, the makers are very creative yeah. with their flavors. And they're very good. So. Yeah. <laughs> they're very that's, good. All you, that's the part yes, you know, that's, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's going to taste good. So how do they get like a, a flight or how do the tastings work? The tasting, it works like, um, like a general admission ticket. Mm -hmm. You get 10 tastings. Okay. And it's a five ounce glass. So mm -hmm. you take that glass. It's a decent it, amount. Yeah. And it, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> and, this, and, this is, and this is happening at Glass City Metro Park. Yes. Exactly. What a wonderful park. I know. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, yes. Beautiful venue. This is uh, happening by the ribbon. Uh, yes. Is yes. that correct? So yep. uh, just set the scene. Uh, what can we expect? How will, how will the night go? Well, we've got um, the Marty Ray Project from Nashville coming in, and he's going to put on a, a concert, and so that'll be going on. And then we've got Urban Cowboy Line Dancing, and they're going to come be coming in, and they're going to be doing. So there's going to be line dancing going on as well. All right. All right. That's a thing now, you yes. know. It's like I, I used to do that in the '90s, <laughs> right? When I was a kid, I did. Stephen, I do know some line yeah. dancing. You, you know, do. I can't see, but I can. I've got some moves. Uh, it was a big thing in the '90s, and then I feel like. It when I lived down south, and then now everywhere mm -hmm. it has become yeah. Yeah. a thing. We heard from the people <laughs> <laughs> that they wanted line dancing at some events, so I'm like, all right, and they're coming in from Nashville. Yeah. And uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah, They're the real yeah. deal. Going to yeah. be a good time. Um, and, and listen, ladies, I can appreciate this. This isn't pumpkin thing. <laughs> I'm not a pumpkin fan if at all. you didn't all. catch that. So, so, so I can understand why cider is something that you guys are promoting. So thank yeah. you for that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> and, and also, this is not just an opportunity for people to come and try cider, but uh, this is helping to give back to the community as well, Absolutely. Right? Exactly. Yes. So, yeah. so what are you guys so doing to give back? With, um, we love our partnership with the Metro Parks. And um, the last one we had was 2019, and it was at Wildwood. Metro Park. So this one is at the Metro Parks. And what we are going to do is some of the proceeds will benefit Connections Camp. Yeah, and what, is and, and what is Connections so Camp? So it's a program that sends kids to camp for free if they cannot, their parents can't afford to send them. So yeah. I always wanted to go to camp as a yeah. kid, right? You, you know, I, I know, me too. So, yeah. I, I believe, like, that's, yes. a, I believe so. that's a Northwest Ohio thing. My wife, she she was like, you, you've you never went to sixth grade camp? No. Like, no. no. Of, actually. no. So, and, and this gives uh, kids an opportunity to experience uh, to a week experience of camp. It. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So they get a chance to get outdoors yeah. and try some new things that they haven't mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Uh, so this is going to a great call. So uh, how can people uh, get their tickets for this? Um, well, they can go to ToledoNightMarket.com. There is a pop-up that shows you, you know, to click for your tickets. On, right, away. Then, right away. <laughs> right away. <laughs> and um, there's also a tab that says Cider Fest 419. So. And you mentioned Toledo Night Market. So how is Toledo Market uh, Night Market involved in all of this? Well, we're putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> so we are Toledo Night Market. <laughs> and we do, and so we're going to put on, and we're putting on the Cider Fest. But there's still one more Toledo Night Market this yes. year. Yes. And when is that? September 23rd. Next okay. Weekend. So yeah, before next Saturday. Cider Fest. Yes. And for people who have never been to a Toledo Night Market, describe mm. what that's like. Go ahead, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's an experience. So there's lights, mm -hmm. and there's um, artisan vendors and small businesses. People who have a passion for what they're doing are there selling their wares. We have craft breweries there that eat different ones each time. We have like 
10, 10 food trucks, give or take, that are there. So there's food and live music. And live music. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to have distant cousins there oh, this fun. time. Yeah. That is for, fun. yeah, and they put on a good show. And so. this happens at the Toledo Farmers Market. Yes, mm -hmm. this one you would the, the, yep. typically yep. have the. Take it over and, mm -hmm. yeah, 6 to 11. Yeah. 6 yeah. to 11. Yeah. Fun. Oh, really fun, right? <laughs> yeah. Nice time to get out. So let's get back to Cider Fest. So I, okay. I want people to know Glass City Metro Park, if you haven't experienced Glass City Metro Park, mm -hmm. it, is, uh -huh. it is wonderful, yeah. right? Yes. And, um, it, we're in October. Well, it'll be in October, mm -hmm. so it'll be cooler, mm -hmm. right? But there are fire pits out there. <laughs> there are. Yeah. So will those be going that yes, night? Yes, there are six cool cabanas out there, and um, we've actually... Um, some of the cideries and breweries have sponsored and they're going to be set up at the cabanas and then we'll have it set up like um, fire pits and chairs and it'll be really nice. Mm -hmm. A nice yeah. little ambiance, ambiance yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and setting there yeah. and you know why would you just encourage people to, to come out and you know have a good time but mm. also get back to. Yeah. It's just an experience between the line dancing. If you don't like line dancing, then you can listen to Marty Ray and listen to okay. And it's kind of an acoustic concert, so it's not going to be a big, you know, big, huge, loud thing. Oh, and and then people can stroll around and do their tastings, and they can oh, buy food, buy food, um, and uh, they can sit down and and talk. And it's just and it's a beautiful setting right there by the water. It yeah. just should be a really nice experience. Mm -hmm. okay. No dress, no dress code, but I'll tell people Oops. to wear the, wear. <laughs> their boots and flannel. I, was gonna say, I think you will see some boots and flannel there. Uh, this yeah. is happening again Friday, October 6th, but we want you to get your tickets now. Right. Exactly. Because right? they will probably, there's probably only a limited amount. There's a limited amount and there's also, there's a limited amount of VIP tickets ah. also. So VIP okay. tickets, you get in um, five o'clock or an hour earlier and um, you get some other, a couple more tastings, mm -hmm. you get um, some food noshing stations. Uh -huh. Things like that. Some so, special, yeah. some special um, brews from the cider. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they've made some some special tastings just for the VIPs. Yeah, very too. VIP. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like I like that. Right. <laughs> Ladies, thank you so much for coming well, today. Thank you we for having us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you for watching Toledo's most local 9 a.m. show. Good day. Coming up, it's going to be a beautiful weekend, as we've mentioned. Fun for the whole family. Next in John Monk's Go 419 Weekend Rundown. Good day. We'll be right back.